Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how we can generate some very basic random numbers in C. What I'm about to show you are pseudo-random numbers. They appear random, but they're actually determined by a mathematical formula that uses a seed value to generate a predictable sequence of numbers. They're not truly random, but they appear random. There are more advanced techniques, such as using the Mersenne Twister, or even hardware entropy. But we're not at that level yet, that's more advanced stuff. We're just going to cover generating some very basic pseudo-random numbers. Here's how. We're going to need the following header files. Include stdlib.h, meaning standard library. Also time. Include time.h. One of the steps to creating a random number is to call the random function. Rand for short. However, if I were to output this, we're going to have one issue. The result is always going to be the same. We'll call the rand function and then display whatever the integer is. Every time I run this program, I myself, I'm getting the number 41 every single time I run it. That's because with generating pseudo random numbers, we're plugging a base seed value into a mathematical formula to generate a sequence of numbers that appear random. The base seed value in most cases is either zero or one. It's similar to Minecraft. For generating a world, if you type in the same seed value, the world is going to be the exact same. It's a similar concept. What we'll do is create a seed value based on the current time. To set the seed, we'll call the srand function. Within this function, call the time function to get the current time. But you can either pass in zero, or more commonly you see people pass in null, meaning no value. Zero and null will do the same thing, this is just more readable using null. All right, whatever the current time is, we'll use that as a base seed. Now our random number should at least change. Again, I'll use printf. We're displaying an integer. We will call the rand function. And now we should get a somewhat random number based on the time. Now, depending on your operating system and the compiler you're using, the number you're given can vary. To find out what the maximum value is, you can output this constant of rand max. For me, this number is just over 32,000, but for you, it might be over 2 billion. Again, it depends on your operating system and the compiler that you're using. With this number that we're given, based on the current time, how can we use this to generate pseudo random numbers? Here's one technique we're going to create a variable, let's say random num equals called the rand function, we're going to use the modulus operator. The number we're given, modulus gives you the remainder of any division. Let's say I would like one of two possible values, one or two. I could say modulus two. And then we'll print our random number using printf for displaying an integer. We will display our random number. And here's what I have currently. I either get zero or one. We'll need to add an offset. If I would like a random number between one and two, well, I'm given zero through one. We'll add an offset by enclosing this formula with a set of parentheses, then add plus one to the end. That will give us a random number that's either one or two. For greater ranges, let's create a few more variables. Int min, I'll set that equal to one and int max. I'll set that equal to six. Maybe we're rolling a six sided die. We'll say modulus six, or in this case, max. Then add our offset of one, whatever the minimum is. Let's see what we have currently. I got five, six, three, one. Let's change up the minimum. What if it was 50 and the max was 100? Here's what we have. Well, I got 109, which is above our maximum. For the modulus operator, we're going to subtract the minimum from the maximum, max minus min, and close them within a set of parentheses, then add plus one for the offset. And that's the full formula. And let's test it. And I got 55. 61, 68, 
71. If max is 100 and min is 50, this would give us 50. We're adding an offset of 1, because with the modulus operator, 0 is a possible value. Then since the minimum is 50, we're just adding that as an offset. This will generate a random number between 50 and 100. If you need a few random numbers, we can just call the random function again. Let's copy this line of code, paste it twice, rename these variables because they need different names. We'll need to display three integers, percent %d, percent %d. I'll put random number one, random number two, random number three. And we should get three pseudo random numbers. 60, 93, 77, 70, 80, 68. This is the formula that you'll need to create a pseudo random number. All right, everybody, and those are pseudo random numbers and how to generate them in C.